third game before, so I led the game off with a hit, but that's what I want to do next time. So this was the first time that you'd ever been there? It's my third time this year. I mean, but I mean, before Q would put you there, you'd... Yeah, I'd never been. Never? At any level of... I think maybe Little League. <laughs> I can't remember, though. That was a long, way. long time ago. What was the rationale for putting you in the leadoff spot? Did he give you anything as to... No. No, he just no. said, you're leaning off. <laughs> I said, I'm leaning off, and I said, okay, here we go. <laughs> It is, uh, I don't know, it's kind of, the game has evolved. So, I mean, it's definitely an RBI situation. A lot more, it seems. Right. Um, I mean, is that kind of part of the strategy? Is that part of the... I have no idea. <laughs> I know that um, I walk a decent amount. Um, one of my fortes is getting on base, so I have no idea, mm -hmm. but I'm guessing that's what it is. Because really the only time it makes a difference is that first at bat. After that, it's... Yeah, same. And especially the way our lineup's been turning mm -hmm. over recently. Um, there's a lot of RBIs wherever you're batting in the, in the order, so I think that uh, it's fun. That's what, that's what I think about that. Quaddy talk, always talks about having five runs. You got the five runs early and yeah. you needed them. Yeah, we need all. I think, um, you know, I think, I don't know what the percentages are, but anytime you score five runs in a game, it's, it's pretty good, So especially with our pitching. So, I think that's a magic number we all know about. And, um, it's going to be put up five tonight. You know, that's down to two now, regardless of what but Lehigh Valley was winning late. They were. So what we got? Three left? I think we're good. We're good. We're in good shape. We're playing well. We'll see. I mean, this is a position to be in, rather than the other right. team that's chasing yeah. and needing, you know, needing somebody else to hold on. I would definitely rather be in our situation than the other way. Yeah, that's kind of changed because early on in the season it looked like Lee High Valley was going to run away with a division, yeah. and then they fortunately hit a, fortunately for you guys hit that slump and dropped and yeah. were able to move into that uh, wild card spot. Yeah, yeah, I think um, we got a lot better as the season went on. Um, playing them early in the season, they were a really tough team. So I think that um, talent-wise, we added some guys and. Um, you know, it's a good time for us to get rolling, and, and fortunately, it, it's kind of panned out the way it has been so far. This is, I mean, I guess resiliency is kind of important this time of year with guys going up. I mean, you lost a lot of guys before, and, and yet you know, still able to produce here. Yeah, I think that kind of goes with the, um, the, or the organization has, the depth of talent it has. Um, you know, we lose some guys, and some guys step in and, and fill a role. I've uh, seen that throughout the whole year. And there's depth in the organization. Again, all, all three teams are in the playoff of vying for playoff positions. Yeah, I heard that a couple days ago, and that shows what the Twins organization is doing. Uh, I don't know. I've never even heard of that before. I don't know if you guys, you guys probably know better than me, but I've never even heard of a whole organization making the playoffs. Well, when Rochester was in Baltimore, Rochester, Baltimore, I think it was Elmira, all won there. They were back in like 1966, around in there. Cool. So, had happened right. before with Rochester. <laughs> gotcha. Much appreciate.